He was really sweet and innocent last year. Yeah, around the tree. Yeah. I Can you hear? Um, can you hear me? <laughs> I don't think you can hear me. So I'm taking a class. Uh, Allie Love, I think is her name. But she like sings and. Please do go on. <laughs> Those headphones. So we're, cadence is like how fast you're pedaling. So if we're doing intervals, so we're go from 80 to 90 to 100. Whoa. I'm almost halfway done now. Feeling good. Good. I took a beginner class. Probably smart since it's the maiden voyage. Listen to Bieber right now. Justin Bieber. He, yeah, he definitely can't hear a word I'm saying. So like right now we're doing 100 cadence. It looks like you have a wedgie. I expected you You're to be- You're gonna love it. This thing's awesome. <laughs> I expected you to be sweatier. <laughs> Is that as fast as you can go? What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> These are noise canceling headphones. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to do this. It's gonna be torture having this thing here and not being able to really use it. I'm 234 on the leaderboard out of 2,000. Wow, impressive. You're number one in my book, honey. Proud of this? <laughs> Rio. Rio, what are you doing? <laughs> Rio, look at me. What are you doing? Can you tell me how high she is? Yeah. This is not good. No, this is not good. She's going all the way to the top. I don't know what's stopping her. There's her sister. She was really sweet and innocent last year. Yeah, around the tree. Yeah. I oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just filming her. I'm not. Does she know how to get down? She's getting down. Probably. Iris is ready to start decorating for Christmas. She's ready. Oh my gosh, she just went in. <laughs> Crazy cat. Good choices. Which one are you going to be? Oh, I'll be Rudolph. I know you like the Grinch. I'm excited to do my first live class for the Peloton today. Gonna do a uh, just a 20 minute since I'm still getting into it. 20 minute country ride, so it should be fun. So I may be 50. 60% done decorating the tree with the ornaments and as I was going through my bucket of ornaments I was um, just thinking back on when we first started this tree. This is like our first married tree together Like to completely deck a tree with ornaments would be really expensive to buy everything and we had just got married We just moved both just started our career. So like money was tight So I'd say 90% of the ornaments on our tree I made myself and they've lasted this is the third, fourth year that we've used them and they've lasted. So some of my favorites, here's what it's looking like. I still have quite a bit more to put on. And the ones that I have left to put on are 
really fun ones, but most of what I have on here are these pine cones. And what I did was just walk around where we live. There's a lot of pine cones on the ground everywhere. And I just gathered them up, picked my favorite ones, and then you bake them at 350 for like half an hour. And it kind of gets all the bugs out. Made that mistake at the beginning. I didn't bake them and there were bugs everywhere inside them. And then these I just sprayed with white spray paint. And these I sprayed with like adhesive glue and then like sprinkled gold glitter on them. So I think they turned out really pretty. And so I have those like, you know, pretty much everywhere around the tree filling in all of the holes. And then occasionally I'll just buy one ornament at a time. I love this one, it's a church, a little church. And then these I made too, I just got like styrofoam balls and then put, I got like a bag of really neat coins and gems and buttons. And there we go, hot glued those on. So and then just put a ribbon on it and a string with some twine. So I really like these. I have a couple like that. They're a little bit tedious, but I love how they turned out. And then this one I made too, and it's just a styrofoam ball, and I wrapped that twine stuff around it with a hot glue gun and then put a little bow on it there too. So it's fun coming across all of the ornaments. And we always put an owl on top of the tree. I didn't, I couldn't think of like, what I wanted on the top of the tree. I didn't want a star. I didn't really want an angel. And uh, I just decided that I wanted an owl. And so we put him up there and he's been, he's been our owl tree topper for the last couple of years. And we named him Darius Rucker because of Hootie and the blowfish. And then I think this is about done too. I might add a few more things up there. So it's coming along. Are you sure that she didn't see you? <laughs> so as I was going through Christmas stuff getting everything out I came across these ornaments and it's one for a girl and one for a boy that they each say my first Christmas with a little ribbon and I didn't know where they came from and I was asking Brad like if he remembers getting them and he said no but he he figured like my mom must have got them for us when we found out we were having a boy and a girl I would have remembered that so I just thought it was really strange that it was packed into our Christmas stuff and it's kind of a little bit of foreshadowing maybe if the babies get here before Christmas. So uh, I just thought that was funny and then I texted my mom about it and she got them for us like well over a year ago just in case like we needed gifts for a friend who was having a baby around Christmas. So I thought that was really funny and kind of neat that we now have this boy and girl my first Christmas ornament that we may be able to use. So on the subject of Christmas, I've been reading through the comments on the video that we posted on Sunday. And I think it's really, really funny how strongly people feel about when it's appropriate to decorate for Christmas. I just wanted to give my thoughts on it because, not that I feel like I have to defend myself, but kind of. So anyway, there's several reasons that we decorate really early. And if you follow us on Instagram, I kind of laid them out in our initial post you know, how we were decorating for Christmas and all that. I kind of laid out the reasons why we decorate so early. First of all, I just love Christmas so much. So I just want to enjoy it for as long as I can. And I just really, it brings me so much joy that like I can't, I want to decorate the first possible opportunity that I have. I'd say the majority wait until after Thanksgiving and that's fine, it doesn't offend me. And I think it's really funny that like people feel so strongly about me decorating early, but I really don't care when anybody else decorates. And number two, it is an effort to get all of our Christmas decorations up. I've been accumulating these decorations for years, so it takes a really long time to get it done, and I wanna enjoy it for more than just three weeks between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that's another reason they go up early. And then this year, this doesn't really have anything to do with it, but it could be a reason why we're decorating early, and that's because after Thanksgiving, I'll be within weeks of delivering twins, and I just probably won't want to do a whole lot of extra effort, you know, to get our house transformed and then transform it right back a few weeks later. So this year is unique in that sense, but it's not unique in the sense that we're decorating early at all. So anyway, those are kind of my thoughts on why we decorate early for Christmas. I'm sorry if it bothers you. It definitely doesn't bother me if you choose to wait, and I think that's kind of one of the things that makes our world 
fun to live in because everybody's a little bit different. Some people don't decorate at all. Some people decorate super early. Some people decorate later, but then leave them up all the way through January. So everybody's just a little bit different, and I think that's what makes the world fun to live in. So that's my spiel. Hey, Irie. Plus, Iris and Rio really love the Christmas tree. And if it's any consolation, we're hosting Thanksgiving this year because we can't travel anywhere. And so my family's coming to us, and I left the dining room table fall, and this little region of the house. So that will remain fall until after Thanksgiving. She's such a good helper. She is a good helper. I needed help. This is the third time I've done this. <laughs> it's two different strands, so they weren't matching. One of them I have to do every other, and the other one I have to go through every <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Rusty's just laying over there farting. <laughs> I wonder if you'll be able to hear that. Iris, that kind of hurt. I don't know what to do with this extra now. Good luck. Thanks. Well, should we sign off, honey? Sure. So, not quite done with the Christmas decks. But we're getting darn close. We'll have to reveal those in the next vlog. We're not going to reveal them in this one. No. Okay. Mm. Stay tuned. So hit that subscribe button if you want to get a notification when we post a new video. Hit the thumbs up button whether you like decorating for Christmas early or not. Rusty has a lot to say about it. All right. We'll see you later this week. Bye. Bye. One more thing. If you're thinking about getting a Peloton, do it. So amazing. Awesome. I think it's going to revolutionize workouts across America. If I could buy stock in the company, I would. It's awesome. Can you not? I don't think it's public. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, if you're, if you're going to buy one, uh, look down below in the description box. It'll give you our, our referral code, and you get $100 uh, in accessories. So it's a pretty sweet deal. That gets you pretty much a whole pair of shoes with the cleats. That... So you'll get your shoes basically for free or you know anything that you want. All right, have a good one.